Hey everyone, it's Robert with ARD Tuning. We're out in the electronics lab today, and we're going to do some injector testing. Uh, we're going to look at the comparison of not only flow in terms of volume, but we're also going to look at the flow pattern of different injectors, starting with the early 850 turbo injector, moving into the white injector and the blue injector found on the T5s, and then even up to the green injector that we find in the R model. So, let's take a look at what the flow rates are of these injectors when they're flowed all at the same pressure, and take a look at the pattern differences. All right, so we're over at the injector flow bench, and we're going to take a look at these injectors all flowed at the same rate. So we're going to flow them at 3 bar, 43.5 PSI, which is kind of the industry standard for testing injectors. So we're going to look at the flow rate, and we're going to look at the actual flow pattern, which on the early injector with the big body design uh, really isn't as optimal as the later injector with the increased emulsification screen that gets better atomization of the fuels that goes into the cylinders, we get better air fuel control at idle, better cruise fuel economy. So there are all kinds of benefits, even if you're moving up from an injector that's effectively the same size but of newer technology. Okay, so now we're going to take a slow-mo look at the injectors as they start to open up and spray. And you'll notice the injector on the left is our early 850 turbo injector, and the injector on the right is the later white T5 injector. You notice that the spray pattern on the 850 really starts out as a stream until it kind of establishes itself into a little bit more of a jet, while the injector on the right actually has a really nice fogging pattern right out of the gate. As soon as it lights up, it's fogging that fuel into the cylinders uh, in a much better way that's going to help that fuel and air not only mix together in a, in a more even fashion, but we're also going to find that we get a lot of benefits from cooling as smaller droplets can contact more surface area uh, with regard to the pistons, the valves, cylinder walls. So there's really a number of benefits. All right, now with all that said, it's important to remember that injector flow can be impeded by things like dirty injector baskets. Uh, those reside right here on the top of the injector and need to be serviced every now and then. Uh, broken down fuel filter media, uh, other debris that can enter the fuel system that's being serviced, whether the fuel filter is being replaced or the injection rails being taken off. Uh, they do find their way into the fuel system and they'll end up here. So it's a good idea to think about servicing injectors if you're going to do an injector upgrade. Uh, and if you need to, we've got service tools available for that, as well as the baskets, O-rings, retainers, everything you need to service your injectors. Uh, additionally, remember that you want to make sure you leave enough room for margin of error with your injectors. Uh, things like component enrichment, detonation enrichment, we need to leave enough room for that. So selecting an injector that's large enough is really important. And then also remembering that all these injectors that we're flowing today uh, are OEM Volvo injectors that you find all over the place. And they're effectively a Bosch injector, so you can find any Bosch equivalent uh, that makes sense for you to run in your car. And they're all going to have very similar uh, setups with regard to O-ring size, injector basket size, length, the EV1 connectors. So it would be really easy for you to source a myriad of different options uh, that you can put into your car. But make sure when you do that, you always have to get retuned because bigger injectors mean more fuel flow. It means you'll run rich all the time if the ECU isn't tuned properly for it.